Um, another thing I'd like to encourage you to do is to think about counter metrics. So uh, this is a concept that I haven't really seen out there much uh, other than in my own work. So hopefully I'm uh, the crazy dude uh, who thinks this is important the only one. Uh, but basically, um, the idea of a counter metric is to help prevent uh, blending focus on a single goal. So if your uh, number one goal, your North Star metric was revenue, um, your revenue can trend upwards even if there are some problems bubbling underneath the surface. And so um, that might not be reflected in that revenue goal for a while, whether that's because you have recurring revenue and folks haven't canceled yet, or if there's just kind of a, a lingering customer dissatisfaction that's growing. Um, I like to, whenever we set a big top line metric, also set another metric that says, hey, uh, what would tell us that there's some bad news on the horizon, even if it's not reflected in our top line metric yet? And so Net Promoter Score uh, is a really good um, example of a counter metric. Uh, it's the same question no matter what. How likely are you to recommend our product or service to a friend? Uh, and uh, for us, it keeps us in check uh, to make sure that we're still, you know, that our customers are happy and that there's not like major changes in satisfaction and dissatisfaction that are not reflected in our top line metrics. Uh, another thing to note is that your metrics might change over time. Uh, so when you're just getting started and you've just kind of cracked product market fit, you might not be focused on revenue, you might be focused on new, new user activations. And as your company matures, that's gonna change. Uh, and whether that your focus shifts to revenue or if you're focusing on retaining existing users because you've already saturated the new users. Uh, when you set a North Star metric, it doesn't need to be your metric for life. Uh, it can change and that's okay. Um, for example, at Charitable, uh, we didn't focus on revenue until actually relatively recently. So the company's uh, a little over two years old. Um, and we'd only really kind of cracked the sales model earlier this year. Uh, and so that's when revenue became uh, a big focus for us because it, it really is directly linked to uh, our customers' uh, activation and engagement with our product. Uh, we used to focus a lot more on active users. Uh, that uh, has kind of fallen by the wayside because a lot of our users don't pay us. Uh, and that uh, just isn't that helpful as a tiny startup. <laughs> uh, so um, you know, we're not like a mainstream consumer product where like having a huge base of free users is super important to us. So for us, it has changed quite a bit, uh, and the focus on revenue has been super clarifying. I think for everyone at the company. Uh, 